Hey everybody, Coach Mike here. Today is a 30 minute full body mobility routine. If you want to jump ahead and get right to the working out, skipping the description, click below for the chapters. See you in a moment. Otherwise, let's go through the workout. We've got 30 minutes. It's going to be divided into three different circuits. The whole time we're going to be working 45 seconds work, 15 seconds of rest, and in between each circuit, we're gonna get a 45 second break to kind of recoup. The first circuit is lower body, the second circuit is upper body, and then the third circuit is a little bit more of a mobility challenge. We're gonna be doing some more complicated movements that involve multiple joints. They are a little bit more of a strength challenge too, so you will get your heart rate up. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging than our normal mobility workouts, but I look forward to bringing it to you. Let me know down below what you think of this style of workout if you prefer with or without the mic. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, like most people who watch the videos are not, please consider hit, hitting the subscribe button. It does help get the channel to more people that are looking for similar content, feeds the old YouTube algorithm, which we love so much, makes sure the right people are seeing this video, would help out a ton. Also, click like, helps me out, awesome stuff. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get moving. We'll see you there. All right, guys, we're gonna start with our hip openers. So have a seat on the bum. We're gonna bring the legs out about 90 degrees, knees bent to about 90 degrees, sitting nice and tall. Make sure the tailbone stays off the ground. And we're gonna let the hips flop in side to side. Try to keep both butt bones on the floor for the first chunk. So as we go down, don't let either butt cheek lift off the floor at the first chunk. At about halfway through, I'll let you know. We're gonna start bringing it all the way down, but let's just start with a gentle warm up, hands on the floor, supporting us. And about three, two, one. Let's start going all the way. So bring the knees right to the floor. Just getting the hip joints warmed up, nice and gentle. Next time through, we're gonna do no hands. We've got four exercises. We're gonna let the legs after this fall out to the left-hand side. And we're gonna do four exercises from that same position before switching back to the other side. So let both legs fall out to the left to our 90-90 position. So 90 degree with the knee, hip and front leg. From here, we're gonna turn the body to face your left thigh. And we're gonna be reaching over the left thigh and then coming back, bringing the right armpit to the heel and the left arm overhead. So over the left thigh, then come on up and stretch the right armpit to the right heel. So we'll be stretching the glute on the left side. And when we come back this way, we'll stretch the hip, the internal rotator of the hip on this side. Just back and forth like so. It's normal to get a cramping sensation in this hip during this series. Just straighten the leg and shake it out if you get that and then continue as soon as you can. It'll go away with time as you get stronger in that muscle. Oh, and that's time. All right, so same position, but let's close up the angles of the knees. So let's get the left toes touching the right thigh. And from here, we're just doing a glute bridge. So lifting the body up to standing and then try to square the hips out. So push the left hip forward and pull the right hip back, trying to get the, left, the hips in line with the knees. And at the top position, squeeze, lower yourself slowly. If you can't make your way up, you can use your hands to cheat the way up and then lower yourself with control. And as you get stronger, these get easier. back up to the 90-90 position. And then this time, turn so the body faces the left thigh, and we're gonna be hovering the right leg off the floor. As you do these, try not to lean off to the side. Stay as upright as you can as you lift that leg. It's normal to lean a bit, but just fight the lean and focus on staying upright. It's 
able to cramp up in this back hip. It'll go away with time as you get stronger. But these are quite challenging, as you probably feel. When I first did these, I couldn't even get my foot off the floor at all. All right. So from here, same position. Don't change your legs at all. Same position with the upper body, so facing the left thigh. We're gonna be lifting this left foot off the ground, trying to imagine lifting the foot first. Then we're gonna bring the leg to straight, so lift the foot first, then bring the leg to straight, and then back. As you do this, try not to lean. Stay as upright as you're able to. You might feel a cramping sensation in this hip and quad. These are tough. Eventually you want to do it with no support from the hands. But use as little support as you need to get these done. Almost there. Then we're going to return after this to our hip openers that we started. Oh. So back to the hip openers we started with. This time we're gonna try and do them without any hands. So hips open to 90, knees to 90. We're gonna do those same hip openers going side to side without using the hands. So here we go, nice and upright. Make sure when you come back to center, you're pushing your hip back so you don't crawl your bum forward. So you're trying to return the butt cheek right from where it came as we go side to side. If you notice yourself crawling forward, it's okay, just reposition yourself and start again. We're gonna do those same four exercises now after this on the right hand side. So once we're done here, we fall both legs out to the right and begin. You might notice one side feels a little looser than the other. So bring both legs out to the right. Again, in that 90-90 position, we're gonna start off with turning the body toward the right thigh, doing a glute stretch over the right leg, then to an internal rotator stretch, bringing the left armpit to the left heel. Here we go, left armpit to left heel, and then reach over the glute. Reach up, left armpit to left heel, and reach over the right glute. Feeling the right side butt, left side in the hip in this area. You might even feel a little bit of a side body stretch when you reach to the left. That's fine too. Up, we're going to close the knees, bring to this is called a shin box position. So, toes on the thigh, close back knee, and we're doing raises. Here we go. Lift up. Again, squaring the hips out, so squeeze that right butt cheek and try and open up the hips. If you can do the entire thing without support, that's amazing. Otherwise, if you need help to get up, that's totally fine too. Just try to lower yourself with control to strengthen that glute. It's called an eccentric. Um, contraction, so the lowering phase you're actually stronger in than the lifting phase of any exercise. So it gives you an opportunity to strengthen the muscle in that movement if you can't do a full rep yet. Open back up to that 90-90 position, so 90 degree back knee, 90 degree front knee. Turn the torso to face the right thigh, and we're gonna be hovering the left leg off of the floor, trying to stay as upright as we can. Here we go.
Next up, we got the front leg. So we're gonna sit nice and upright, facing the right thigh. We're gonna lift the right leg off the floor, straighten it, bring it back and hover. Here we go, try not to lean. Now. All right, after this, we've got a forty five second rest. Burns. All right, 45 second rest. We're gonna move on to upper body next. We're gonna be starting with cat cows. Grab yourself some water, snack, whatever you need. Or if you haven't yet, hit the like button. Maybe subscribe, ring the bell, all the YouTube stuff. And we'll be starting up shortly. Cat and cows. So cat cow position, we're gonna start hands and knees. As you round the back, imagine trying to round from the lower back first, and then to the upper back. So here we go. Round, tuck the chin. Trying to make your back as round as possible. Then we go the other way, arch the back, look up and arch as much as possible. So just move the spine as much as you can each direction. Breathe in as you look up and exhale as you look down. Up. We've got kneeling T-spine, so come down and sit your bum right down on your heels or as close to them as you can. We're gonna bring the right arm down to the floor, left hand by the temple, and we're gonna rotate up. Try to keep the heels on the bum the whole time, and imagine using the bottom arm as leverage to open the spine up as much as you can. We're just doing reps here. These feel great. Great warm up if you're going to be doing anything overhead or if you sit for work. This is really good for reversing some of the effects of sitting all day. up to tall kneeling, we're going to bring the left leg back behind the right and rotate to a quasi side plank. And from here we're going to be making big circles with the left shoulder. So as you make these circles, make the circles as big as you can through an entire motion. You should feel a stretch somewhere. Now where that stretch is is going to change. So when you're pushing down, you'll feel it in the trap and the shoulders. When you push forward, you can feel it in the mid back. Then we're gonna feel side body. And then as we go back, we wanna feel it in the chest. So you're making the biggest shoulder, circle, sorry, as you can with your shoulders. So there's no lazy part. You're moving slow and deliberately the entire time, trying to create stretch the whole way. So we're gonna lie down on our right side and bring the left knee. So the right leg is straight. You're gonna bring the left knee in front of you bent on the floor, arms out in front. And we're gonna open the arms to a T like we're a book that's opening and closing. Make sure that left knee stays on the floor as we rotate open and closed. Keep the 
eyes on the hand that's moving. And think not about touching your hands to the floor, but touching the back of your left shoulder to the floor. That way you're rotating from the spine and not just the shoulder joint. All right, finally, we're lying on the stomach. I'm gonna have, or sorry, we're kneeling. We're on hands and knees. And the left arm is gonna go overhead, reach down the back like you're trying to scratch your back, but without touching. And then we're gonna keep the arm high, make a really big circle around, and then reach up the back like you're trying to scratch up the back, but again, without touching for as long as you can. And nice big circles here. Reach down the back, and reach. Keep high off the floor without rotating the torso. And then from here, reach up the back, trying to keep the torso still. Nice big circles with the shoulder. Again, we're not just whipping the arm around, stay deliberate, stay high off the ground, control it the whole way, trying to stay as high off the floor as you can while you make these circles. Should be pretty tiring on the arm if you're doing them right. Whew. All right, we're gonna go back to our cat-cow stretch, just getting the spine loosened up again. Then we're gonna do that exact same sequence, this time on the right side. So cat cow, hands and knees, rounding and arching the back. Exhale as you round. And inhale as you arch and look up. T-spine, so bring the bum down onto the heels or as close as you can. This time the left arm is going to stay on the ground. Right arm is going to be up by the temple. I'm going to use that left arm as leverage into the ground to open the spine. Really open, 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 and back down. Hold for about one to two seconds. Really focus on maximally stretching and then recovering. Maximally stretching, up, 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 push it. Effort is the key here. All right, we're gonna come up to the hands and knees. This time, step the right leg back and then rotate. I'm gonna have my back to the camera here. That's okay, you can see what it looks like from the back. We're gonna draw those big circles with the shoulder. So again, make sure you're stretching the whole time. Make sure there's something stretching the entire time. There's no easy part here. lie right down on the left hand side again I'm facing away from the camera so you guys can see bottom leg is gonna stay nice and straight the top leg is gonna be bent with the right knee on the floor and we're gonna open like a book so bring that right side back and trying to bring that right shoulder down as close to the floor as you can and then close like we're opening and closing a book Open. Trying 
keep the right knee as close to the floor as you can. Big reach. And back. All right, we're gonna come to hands and knees here. And this time we're gonna do those circles with the right arm. So you're gonna reach up and down the back like you're trying to scratch your back. And then out to the side like you're making a snow angel. If you live somewhere where we don't have, you don't get snow, maybe I don't know, a sand angel. We're here in Canada, so get lots and lots of snow up here. Reach up the back as far as you can. So just imagine lying on the ground and making your arm as far out the so socket as you can. All the way up the back. There should be no easy point in this motion. You can hear the struggle in my voice as I try and lift the arm as far off the floor as I can without turning my torso. It should be very effortful. All right. Okay, time for the fun stuff. We're gonna have a 45 second break. We've got four, a lot more challenging movements. We're gonna be doing some crab reaches, some natural leg extension, scorpion reaches, supine flares, and then a deep squat hold to finish off. Still working 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We'll get started in a crab position. So we're gonna sit with the, turn your body to an M and have the hands pointing out either to the side or back. And from here, we're gonna lift the hips and we're gonna alternate hands. First, we're gonna start with the left hand down, reach the right arm up and over. So lift the hips high, create a backward arc with the body, reach the arm up and over, and then back down, switch hands, and other side. This is a really good back bend position. We're also working the shoulder, and stretching out the side of the body, trying to reach the arm, and like you're trying to reach that other arm down to the floor, eventually. So imagine trying to reach this arm down to a bridge, eventually. Come down to our knees for a natural leg extension. So stay tall kneeling, squeezing the bum. We're gonna lean back and reach one arm back, then change sides, reach the other. So as you lean back, try to reach back as far as you can. Feel a bit of work in the thighs and a little bit of work in the core. As you reach back, try to go as far as you can. Quads are gonna burn. Scorpion reaches, <clears throat> we're gonna set up in a push-up position, bringing the knee toward the chin, and then up and over, trying to open up the hips. And think about bringing the knee to the sky. So start, knee to chin, leg up, keep the knee bent, try and bring the knee up to the sky, and then back down. And we switch sides again. Knee to the chest, lift up and over, keep the knee bent, and knee to the sky. flares, we're gonna lie on the back. We're gonna have one leg lifted, one leg straight, and we're gonna try to make, flare the legs open, create a middle split through the center. So nice big 
middle split through the center and then keep the other leg hovered. Try to keep both legs completely straight and make the biggest circle you can. You can bring the arms out to the side. You feel this in the core. You're gonna feel some motion in the hips. It's normal to feel a little bit of crunching if you're feeling that. Just make your little circles smaller. Go as big as you can with these. Feel that stretch through that middle split. Feel the muscles of the hip working. You'll feel the abs working to keep the legs off the floor too. Normal to get shaky during these. Ooh. Oh, almost there. All right, we're gonna finish off with a deep squat hold. And then we just go through again. So sit in the very bottom of a deep squat. We're gonna hold this position, trying to get the back nice and flat as we go. So find the deepest squat you can. If you're not comfortable in a deep squat yet, you can grab something to sit on. Yoga block, <clears throat> maybe a stack of pillows, anything like that. And just sit on that as you get comfortable. Think about pushing the knees out to the side, straightening up the spine and sinking the hips down as we get warmed up in this position. You'll feel yourself get further and further into it, which will help when we move to crab bridges again in 15 seconds after this. You might feel burning in the front of the shins as well. It's pretty normal. All right, back to our crab bridges. <clears throat> so hands point either sideways or back, and we're gonna be lifting one arm at a time, bring the hips up to the sky. Here we go. Imagine trying to place the lifted arm back onto the floor to open up the front of the body. but I'm sweating now. All right, natural leg extension, reach backs. So come up onto the knees, just keep the bum squeezed. We're gonna lean back, reach one arm back at a time. Chest nice and high. Here we go, reach back and switch. Scorpion reaches, push up position, knee to chest, leg goes overhead. Supine flares, lying on the back. Legs are gonna be rotating out to the side like a middle split. Arms out to the side for support. Let's get ready. 
Nice big circles through the middle splits there. Try to keep both legs as straight as you can as you go through these. Finally, we finish off with our deep squat hold. And sink into it. There we go. Try to get the back nice and straight. Ooh, my recorder fell off. Chest nice and high. Driving the knees out. You can use the arms on the inside of the knees to straighten up the back and sink the hips low into this deep squat. Eyes forward, chest high. Over time, work on getting your feet pointing straighter and straighter forward and opening the hips. Awesome work guys. Thanks so much for joining. Let me know what you thought down below. If you'd like to see more with the mic versus without the mic, we'll see you in the next one.